it's uh, the cookies with a bunch of sprinkles Does on it them. get any better? I don't think so. Are there ever too many sprinkles? Never. Never? Never. So this is what my dreams look like. Is this what your dreams look yep. like? Yep. Every sweet imaginable is right mm -hmm. here. And you know a thing or two about baking. I have been baking up a storm with all my orders and just for fun. So how old are you? I'm 11 years old. You're 11 years old. And you're already a kids baking champion contestant. How do you get into a place like that? I applied for the show and they liked me, so. Well, what's not to like? You're as sweet as a cupcake. Thank you. So what do you love about being in the kitchen? At first it was more spending time with my grandma and then it was baking, you know? And we had to give away some sweets because it was getting to the point where we were all about to get chubby. <laughs> Your kitchen was filling up with sweets, huh? Yep. So you had to practice moderation. So what were some of the first things you learned to bake? We started with the easy stuff like cupcakes, cookies, and then we got into the more advanced stuff like tarts, pies. So where do you get your confidence in the kitchen from? I like being the boss. You do? Yes, I like being the boss. And I liked having my own little section in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Having flour, sugar, and I always kept it clean. Well, my parents could disagree, but you never know. And then I would always have all my sprinkles in one big container. Speaking of sprinkles, we get to be surrounded by a lot yes, of sprinkles here. Yes, a lot of sprinkles. The flowers in a jar of sprinkles. And then I saw the cookies with a bunch of sprinkles Does on it them. get any better? I don't think so. Are there ever too many sprinkles? Never. Never? Never. I feel like we agree on so much. Yes. We agree on sprinkles. We agree on nails. Nails. We love Kendra Scott jewelry. Oh, yeah. Where, what are we thinking? Neither of us are wearing Kendra today. we got to change that. We have to, we have to up our game. You brought quite a game to Kids Baking Championship. What was that experience like? Amazing. Everyone was just so good to work with. Food Network was awesome to be on, and I love Kids Baking Championship, the show, so. Tell me what your reaction was like when you found out you were going to be on the show. My parents came in at 9 o'clock, and they told me I didn't make it. And I got so sad. I'm like, but I thought I did great. And then they're like, just kidding, you made it. And I was about to cry. <laughs> and my sister's like, what's going on? Because she was asleep. Well, we called my grandma because she had to know. Of you course. Know? She's yeah. my grandma. And we were just so excited. That show, it can get pretty intense in the kitchen. How do you keep it, it cool? Well, I just remember that it's supposed to be fun, and that's all I have to think about, having fun and trying to do my best. I met a lot of people, and my best friend, Naya and Jenna, they were amazing, and I still talk to all of them to this day. What do y'all talk about? Um, icing tips <laughs> and piping bags. Yeah, yeah. natural sixth grade Natural stuff. sixth grade stuff. <laughs> I am so excited for everyone to see it because it really is a family show, mm -hmm. you know? Everyone can see it. What was one of the most exciting experiences on the show that you can tell us about? Mm, I think it was meeting Duff and Valerie mm -hmm. because, and the kitchen, and the kitchen. It looks like a store. Like, wow. honestly, I would shop in that store. <laughs> I would. They had all types of pans. It's like if you wanted a pan, you go over there, you get that pan and 10 other of those pans. You can make anything you want. Yes. It's like your dream kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then Valerie and Duff were so encouraging. Whenever one of the contestants or I had a hard time, they would just tell us that we're doing good and it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. And that's a good lesson for life, not just yes. in the kitchen, yes. right? So what'd you learn about yourself in that process? I learned about myself that I can hurry if I want to <laughs> because I didn't know I could be that quick. I bet your parents would like to see that in the morning when you're getting ready for school. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I kind of wish I could do that now, but I kind of just want to be on my phone and sleep more. 
Okay, so I want to know, when I'm sitting with a baking expert like you, what do you think about when you find desserts? I think that desserts are amazing, and I love bakeries, especially, because mm -hmm. I want to own one when I'm older. What would you name it? I would name it Madison Bakes. Okay, so what would Madison Bakes head baker uh, <laughs> think about these treats right here? I brought you some cookies. I'm scared to lift it because I don't want you to see the ones I got started on. Yeah. <laughs> here. I think that I love all the sprinkles because when you go sprinkles, you can't go home, you know? Yeah. No, let's see. What would that saying be? Eat sprinkles or go home. Yeah, eat sprinkles or go home. Let's eat we sprinkles. We just started a new trend. Perfect. <laughs> let's eat. Mmm. What do you think? It's good. Oh, it's really good. I love white chocolate chip cookies. You're going to finish yours? Maybe. <laughs> I feel offended. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you love things that are sweet. So we're gonna do a little round of sweet versus sour. If you love it, it's sweet. If it's sour, you don't love it. Okay. Painting your nails. That's sweet. Going to the movies. Sweet. Doing homework. Sour. Walking the dog. Depends on the weather. <laughs> Pancakes for breakfast. Sweet. What's your go-to breakfast? Playing with cats. Not sweet. I'm not a cat kind of person, you know? Wearing yeah. Kendra Scott jewelry. Sweet. Going on television. Amazingly sweet. Ooh. Baking with family and friends. Like I said, I like to be the boss, so in the middle, you know? <laughs> when I'm baking with my sister, it's like, okay, now you can pour the sugar in, because they just want to add it all in, and it's like, I do the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. It's a process. Lucky for all of us, you understand it. So we don't have to think much about it. We just get to eat your delicious desserts, yeah. right? Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Cheers. Can't wait to see you on Kids Baking Championship. Should we eat another cupcake just to celebrate? Oh, yeah. There's never too many cupcakes. Actually, this is cookie brownie, and I love cookie brownie. I would make it all well, the time. Well, you know what? Forget the minis. You must need the big one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>